there we go. Uh, or everyone who will be watching, uh, who, who may be watching later, uh, we've just finished <laughs> the Battle of Middle Earth 2, and well, the Rise of the Witch King expansion is refusing to cooperate, so instead we're doing an impromptu Showcase Sunday. Of which, let me start up the first game. Yep. Now, which size is. Oh. Okay, it is. Wait, what? Why is it going into full screen? Okay, let me move over then. Oh uh, dear. Along with me, Lieutenant Rakir. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're ho we're just holding a in show an improvised uh, or the, not an improvised. Uh, why is there no sound? Oh, I think I know what else. Why there's no sound? Uh, yeah, we're just do we're just doing an improvised showcase Sunday, and one of the things I should do as well is to not have this game muted. <laughs> okay. Yep. Wait. Okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, what we do with Showcase Sunday is that we typically show four up to eight games for about half an hour each to see if they're any good for streaming later. And yeah, we've already gone through my <laughs> we've already gone through my gaming library twice. Uh, yeah, with lo looser and looser. Uh, criteria for which to showcase and not, but with this case, with this batch, uh, we're showcasing a bunch that I basically cherry picked and expect to be uh, well streamable sooner or later. There is likely, hmm, we'll likely still go through the rest of the library because there is a good chunk that we haven't covered, like my console and uh, handheld games and a bunch of physical copies. But yeah, that'll be for another day. For now, the first game that we have is Cassette Beasts, which may be familiar to some people, because this game has gotten quite a bit, you know, quite a good reputation. Yeah, I, think I, I recall seeing a little bit of someone play this, and of course, I think I actually seen trailers of this uh, a while ago. Okay, I have played this for a good bit myself already, <laughs> but let's just start a new file and start the timer. Now rides this knight through the realm into the wilderness of Wirral, few thereabouts that either God or other with good heart loved. Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, unknown Arthur, 14th century. Okay, we start just immediately on this. So let's randomize a few times. We can change this later, so no need to stick too closely to uh, what you'd want. Let's go with this. Let's just go with Hill, and yeah, you can choose pronouns. It's not, it's always nice when games do this, even though there are some people who will just absolutely bitch about the oh, woke, uh, liberal bullshit, the fuck off. Yeah, I have heard times when I feel like, really? It, it, just why whine about that? I don't see the point in it. Yeah, it's, it's because they're, uh, worldview gets challenged or just internalized bullshit. I'm, I'm not going, I'm not here to play psychologist, but it's just stupid. So let's just apply and here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Even Hopskin, it's what back? <laughs> okay. We have a jump, we have a dash, with a rather short stamina bar. And yeah, this this game. Well, what's your first impression when you think this? What is your the first comparison you can think of? Well, Pokemon, obviously. Yeah. But it feels like there's something more. Yeah, in the fact that well, we can actually jump, run. Uh, running is also also in Pokemon, but there there is just a hell of a lot of quality of life stuff in this game. And I've not even gotten a, even a quarter through. I'm pretty sure. And since you found wood, it makes me wonder, can you make campfire or something? Hey! Hey, stranger, don't make any sunny movements. Graphic crabs don't take kindly to strangers, or anyone for that matter. Here, take this. And yeah, the game is very 80s with some stuff. Okay, quick question. What's your aesthetic? Uh, this basically selects our starter beast. I went with Spooky on the first go, so let's see what Sweet does. Yeah. I can see that. In that case, take this. 
<laughs> obtain candy vote. I want candy. Really? <laughs> okay. Can devils possess the peculiar ability to generate sugary sweets from their bodies, which can be used as gifts or as ballistic projectiles? Some find this quite charming, whereas others argue that it's actually very gross and weird. Okay. Uh, bootlegs. Okay, there's still a bunch about this game that I do not know as well, but yeah, if you level a monster's tape to five stars, you get more info on them. And also just stuff like encountered, recorded, defeated. Anyways. Alright, now just pop that in your cassette player, put on the headphones and press play. <laughs> this might get a little weird, but follow my lead. It, yeah, in Cassette Beasts, you are the Pokémon, or you become the Pokémon. Your turn, oh. don't be shy. Just breathe, you'll adjust in just a second. Right. Let's give them hell. Okay. And yeah, I just, I just love the aesthetic of this, this along as well. Okay. We can smack for 30 power on one target. There we go. Then we can go with her. Uh, let's see. Just spit. Same, but it's ranged. And it pisses off. Okay. And of course, you get experience. Okay, Bon Bon Blast, range attack 70 power, 85 accuracy, one target, and lowers the evasion. And we also got some plastic. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon? You handled yourself pretty well there. Uh, what's your name? I'm Kaylee. Nice to make your acquaintance, Hill. Anyway, we should probably get you warmed up before you freeze to death in your pajamas. Yeah, the, the 2D and 3D reminds me of uh, Pokemon's first uh, fourth generation, because I think that's where they started with 3D stuff in the world. What do you think? Pretty quaint, right? Where am I? Welcome to Harbor Town. <laughs> Your new home. My new home? Uh... Right, yeah, sorry. I'm not very good at this part. I don't know how best to break the news. You're stuck here. We all are. I don't feel so great. Bunk. Wonderful. Wonderful, you're awake. Kaylee gave me quite a fright when she came knocking at my door. You had me scared for a moment, Hill. I don't think it's anything serious. Transforming for the first time is quite a shock to the psyche. Anyway, Harbor Town happens uh, happen to have a spare home rent, uh, yeah, available for you, so this is your place now. Where on earth is this place? On earth? Daily, you haven't told him? Sorry. I should have. Not to info dump on you, but you're on an island called New World. It's not strictly on earth, at least that's what we think. Is there a way back home? I'm afraid not. I am so sorry. Castaways have been trying to get back to their worlds for a century, and none have succeeded. <laughs> but, but you'll be okay. It's Trinity and Harbor Town, and we help each other out. Not a bad life. And, and it's safe. Well, apart from the monsters. Uh, like with the cassette player. Yeah. And I'm actually going on a patrol soon. If you'd like to join me, meet me, meet, yeah, meet me by the gates. The one just over the bridge we crossed to come, in, to come into town. In the meantime, feel free to say hi to your new neighbors. I'm pretty sure word has already gotten around that there's a new lad in town. Uh, we also fetched some clothes for you, though they might be a bit out of fashion for your era. But it's all we have. My era? Sorry, sorry, I'm in for dumping. I'll catch you soon, right? We can talk more then if you'd like. My clinic is nearby. If you need a checkup, feel free to visit. This all must be a lot to take in, but we all went through the same thing once. I like this self-awareness with the writing. Here's the thing also, now it's sort of more... It's less Pokémon and more Digimon in a way now, story-wise. Yep. Ranger Handbook, a handbook that Kaylee left for you. You can read this to review what you've learned about life on the island of New World. 
Okay, uh, do, do you give me the, the, this is suddenly a bit more like Digimon? Yep. But it still mostly leans towards uh, <clears throat> Pokemon from what I've seen. With the. Actually. Hmm. Oh. I'm just I'm just trying to remember something. It, with the evolution, yeah, there's, it's also rather more Digimon. Yeah, like the, the aesthetic it, it looks like Pokemon, yes. But when you go to the story, yep, it's more Digimon. Let's go like with this. Just we replaced the digital world to more um, musical world. world. You know what I miss? Sports. Why can't Harbour Town start a football team? Well, I suppose there'd be no one to play against. I don't think the giant crabs on the beach have a competitive spirit. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, in general, have... the game is also pretty funny. The both think it was uh, pretty funny, though. But I, think about it, I think I've always found Digimon humor more enjoyable than Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon generally has to be a lot more restrictive so that it's more appealing to the younger audience, where Digimon is willing to go a lot more darker with things. Not always, but it has a more mature leaning, put it in yeah, that it, way. It, you can say this, it has matured with its audience. Yeah. Also something I'm only just now noticing, look at the trees. Like, the leaves are 2D, but the, <laughs> the trunks themselves yeah. are 3D. Yeah, I kind of like it. Hey again, Hill. Are you feeling a little better? You know, you had your own last time we fought together. So well, I've been given an errand and need a helping hand. Do you think you'll be able to help me out? Errand? I'll explain in just a moment. Do you see that path there? Well... There was some kind of quake or monster activity last night. You can see the cracks in the ground. We're gonna check the path and make sure it's safe or possible. Here, take the key to the gate. Simple enough. Okay, now she's following us around. And also, just a nice little thing. You can actually push these around. Very nice, but yeah. Again, it has a bit of a hybrid between Pokemon, uh... Pokemon, Pokemon <laughs> and Digimon, but it's also has a lot of its own flair to it. Okay. Pokemon sounds like a, a parody slash satire to make people aware about uh, the dangers of poaching and such. I'm pretty sure they are poaching in Pokemon at least. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, right. Uh, there's some basics I gotta show you first. I'm hope you're ready to turn into a monster again. I guess so. <laughs> Nearly just in no time. It's like riding a bike. Except, you know, if the bike transforms into a pistol car or a demon. <laughs> okay, they, 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 she actually said something different when I picked the other one. And also, you're the bike. It's weird AF. You see that creep with the boots? It's a spring heel, and it's gonna get aggressive with you if you get any closer. So you're gonna get closer, of course. Or spring heel yak? Okay, we just run into it. Yeah, I think it's inspired by very old depiction of Spring Heel Jack. Yeah. Okay. Tutorial action points. Pay attention to these orange squares in the upper left. They are your action points, or AP for short. Most moves require you to spend some AP. The amount of AP is a yeah, the amount of AP a move costs is shown next to its name. If you don't have enough AP for a move, you won't be able to use it this turn. Simple enough. Every party member gets 2 AP each turn, and an extra one if they land a type advantage attack. You can plan ahead and save up AP for your most powerful at attacks by using weaker, lower AP moves. Some moves just don't cost anything, like you can see here. And let's see, we have a passive ability, Sugar Rush. The user's speed is passively raised in proportion to the amount of health lost. Okay, so the, the lower health you are, the faster you are. And we have Bon Bon Blast here. 70 damage, but it takes 3 AP. So we're going to need to build up some. Okay. <laughs> You've taken a bit of a beating, but your monster form can take it. 
green bar represents your monster form's health, and the red is yours. Yep. If a form loses all of its health in a fight, its tape will break and need repairing. Not only that, but any extra damage from the attack that broke it will apply to your health, the red bar. If both of us lose all our health, then we'll have to retreat back to Harbor Town. Got that? Right. Let's crack on. That's, that's a major risk, of course, but there's also a massive uh, positive about that, which we'll see well, in a bit, hopefully. For now, yeah. continue the attack. Hmm. There we go. And they run off. Yeah, you notice something with the uh, levels here? Uh, it's a new oh, Sonic Boom range attack hits the whole team. Yep. Yeah. I, okay, I'll show it in the menu in a sec. Nice work. Hmm, that elevator should be functioning. There will be a switch around here to turn it back on. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yep. Party. You notice something with the where the levels are? Yeah, it's still the, the player. Yep. You can strengthen, you know, you can strengthen set beasts by using them, but you won't need to level them from level one or such. You will, your character forms the basis of this, you know, of all the strength, and you can later on even uh, distribute points into uh, specific stats, so you can go for more specialized builds towards like ranged attacks or <clears throat> melee attacks, that sort of thing. And yeah, this means that there's a lot of grinding that's removed from the game that you would ordinarily have with like Pokemon or Digimon. Yeah. The Digimon grinding the in game somehow not been too grindy. Yeah. Others hmm. more grindy. Yeah, at the very least here, if we run into a point where we just can't get past something, we'll just need to get different cassette beasts. To try and you know, to try a new strategy, and we don't have to spend hours trying to train them up to a level where they'll be useful. This is handy <clears throat> and very good way if you want to have a more story-driven game. Yeah, it's it's very respectful of your time, put it in, in the simplest way that I know. Hmm. <clears throat> Great. Let's head on up, shall we? I'll let you take the lead for any more fights, but don't worry, I'll be sticking with you from here on out. Kaylee is now your partner. Yeah, you you can always have a partner at your side. Serenades. Serenades are particularly loud creatures and can amplify their own singing voices through their microphone tails and wings. They don't seem to have much awareness as to whether or not their singing is too loud for those around them. Okay. I like that most of the names seem to be, well, at least partially a pun. Like Sirenades, Serenade, Siren. <clears throat> and here we have Carna Viper. Okay. Uh, oh. Uh, it's a well, yeah, it's a carnival all snakes viper. are car Is it? I thought first, alright, yes, all snakes are carnivores, then I realize what the pun is with the mask. Yep. Okay, raise arms. Raises the user's attack. The range attack. As you... Equips. Yeah, they'll come up in a bit, I presume. Or I think. It's a lot easier to swap moves with this game, and also you're not limited to only four. That is a campfire. Do you need a break hill? We can rest here if you'd like. Timing. These bonfire pits mark areas you're safe to set up camp. It gives you a chance to repair your tapes and heal up. Hold it! I called it! Yep. Camp here. I knew the fire, the wood was for something that you picked up <laughs> on the beach earlier. Yeah, here we can take a look through our party, our tape storage, and we can rest up for a cost of woods. I don't know if this differs per location or if it, it's more determined by how much damage uh, has been taken. But yeah, let's I rest. I mean, it's surprising that we will have a, a different cost. Like, imagine if you're in a snowy area. 
him anymore. Yeah. I used to go camping a lot when I was a kid. Ireland has a bunch of great places to camp out. My dad would drive the two of us uh, to the countryside and we'd stargaze together. Camping with you makes me nostalgic for that time. Yeah, your companions will have quite a bit to chat about during these times, or during these camping bits. And it's now night. I don't know yet if nighttime really affects things beyond the visuals. Maybe some cassette beasts only come out during these times. There'll be more monsters ahead you know, about, but we can take them. I think that's what she said. I haven't seen you around before. Let me guess. You washed up pretty recently, didn't you? Is that a cassette player you're holding? Here, take these. And yes. Rewinds. Fully restores the HP of one tape. Used up you uh, yeah, uses up a turn when used in combat. And of course it's a freaking pencil. Yeah, people did use uh, pencils to uh, fix cassette tapes at times. Yeah, or rewind them at least. But that just abuses mm. me so freaking much to them. There, do you see that monster? There must be a way to get it uh, to come over here. Okay, yeah, now we're no. getting to a bit that I also like a lot. As you said this to you people, when you do use a pen to fix a cassette tape, it's usually for trading out if it's gotten loose and such. Be very careful when you do it. Yeah. Okay. It's easy to, you know, it's easy to tear those tapes. Yeah. And we get some basic tapes. Records monster forms with a normal vision rate. There's something about the monsters on New World. Whoa. When weakened, their essence can be well recorded to cassette tapes. We don't entirely know how it works, but it does. Mm, that's good enough for us. Yeah, now we're going now we're getting into capturing. Record, basic tape, use on Dominoff. Okay. And then we need to keep attacking it still. The monster form falls away, so our health becomes at, comes at risk. And yeah, dealing damage while it's recording yep. increases the chance of taking damage, or if the recorder takes damage, it lowers it generally. Of course, this time it's set because it's our tutorial. Dominoff see themselves as defenders of peace and spend their days patrolling the skies of woodland areas. The only thing that can distract them from their noble duties are bright lights, such as lamps. What? Okay, what? Hmm? Uh, okay yes. enough it. But don't me, don't me enough. But what's the pun here? Domino masks, which a uh, lot of superheroes wear. Those things oh. that only cover the area around the eyes. <laughs> I was thinking of domination. <laughs> There's probably something like that later on. I yeah, haven't found uh, it yet. It me like a villain thing, like a dominating uh, country or something. Not the king's stuff. Dominatrix. Yeah, not the king's stuff, I said. For, had it been that one, I, expect, I would expect a different look here. Yeah. <clears throat> Whether recording succeeds or not is down to chance. However, several factors affect the probability of success, how much health the monster has, its level and rarity, how much damage you dealt it while recording, and how much damage the person recording it took. Buffing your attacks or debuffing the target's defenses can be an effective way to increase the damage you deal with the target and improve the odds in your favor. As long as a monster is being recorded, it cannot flee or be defeated. So, yeah, there's no risk of overkilling it and knocking it out or causing it to run. So you don't oh, need to worry about knocking it out. I still see a, pr a, a risk here. Yeah, since any hits you take during it are going to... Well, your base health. Yeah, hmm. so... Make sure you have enough healing when you're doing this, for otherwise, while you're recording it, it can kill you. Yep. Okay, tutorial stickers and moves. The moves you have access to when using a tape in battle are determined by what stickers are attached to the tape. You can give new moves to a tape by applying stickers from your inventory, Moves you don't want can be peeled as stickers and put in your inventory. You can freely swap these around. There's no use. There's no uh, TMs to use up. 
The only limit would be any potential, well, maximum of inventory space. Stickers can be used as many times as you want, but can only be applied to a single tape at a time. Stickers can be obtained in a few ways, by filling tapes as experience point bars, from chests or caches you find from certain merchants in Harbor Town. Okay, and well, they also give a good show of what these, you know, what the stats on these things are. This one's a pretty very, good all-rounder. What? No. They are very, most all-rounder, though they are a bit, soft a bit on speed, matching defense, and... Yeah, it's more, there's strong ground range defense. And the M is for melee, I believe. All right, so range defense. So they have very good range defense. And... Yeah. And by having ranged on the left and melee on the right, you can at a glance easily see if something is a ranged or melee attacker. Okay. Now, tr now try switching to the tape you just recorded. There. Dominoth, transform. And they can use Sonic Boom. That's how you get yourself a new, a new monster for us. However, if a monster takes too much damage, it'll flee, so you won't be able to record it. Uh, you with me so far? Nice. Basically, don't damage it too much before you start recording. Now let's finish this bug out. Yep. <laughs> that almost killed it instantly. Okay. Oh, so the it can't see flee then. I thought it was uh, unable to flee. Uh, during the, the recording, it can't flee, but if you right. heard it too much beforehand. Okay, makes sense. But yeah, so basically, Zephyr. when you're recording it, you're temporarily stuck in a box with it, metaphorically. Yep. Is this meant to happen? Some monster forms give us extra abilities when we record them, beyond just being able to take those shapes. Don't panic. Mothwing Glide. You can now hold space to glide across long distances. This consumes your stamina. Yeah, you have more movement than Sorry. just being able to jump and such. I should probably have warned you, but I thought it might be a little easier to show you. Yep. And that's the, t <laughs> that's the timer for this game. Okay. <clears throat> we can use this glide to get across that gap right there. And ta come with Kaylee to the broken pathway. Okay. And yeah, this is just a, this is just a small taste of this game. I, I will say this: when I saw Trace of this all that first time, I thought, "Oh, it looks cute, but it's not a game for me." But now seeing this, like, I'm not, I don't want to play it myself. I'm not gonna get it, but I'm not gonna lie. I could see you stream this. Huh? Yeah. Depending on how annoying it is. If this is because of monster activity, we better stay sharp. Let's go. And yeah, before we end this, uh... okay, you failed that one, right? What is that? Was this always here? Isn't this part of Harbor Town? I've never seen anything like this before. Has this always been buried here? And, yeah, let's leave it on that cliffhanger, huh? <laughs> oh, you evil little... Uh, yeah, also it warns about uh, when you've lost saves, but yeah, this was just a showcase. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I'm putting this game firmly in the yes parts. Yeah, I will say yes. The only thing I feel like we should do is investigate how long yeah. it is. Definitely. Or okay. if this is, like... <laughs> 70 hours or something like that, then I am a bit more skeptical. Okay. Now, let me double check if the other games should be windowed or not. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm -hmm. Why is that st one still there? <clears throat> okay, I think... Hmm. Okay, yeah, Cassette Beast isn't in here, so I definitely removed that one. But it seems like the other ones are still going to be windowed. Uh, to not have to screw around with the options too much, let's move back to this one. <clears throat> and start our next game. 
if it'll pop into position. There we go. Okay, Gambitious. Vile Monarch. And yeah, <laughs> this next game is Crush Your Enemies. And the way that this one caught my attention, I I already had it, so I must have picked it up during a sale at some point, is that uh, the trailer for this was uh, <laughs> quite charismatic. Uh, I don't know if yeah. they recognize this or not. Let's see. Conquer. Uh, okay, I know very little about the game, so mo this will be mostly new for me as well. I test the games to see if they, if OBS plays nice with them, which, well, since swapping to display capture has been most of the time, Wait, so usually on. it's more that they don't want to work with borderless gaming or just don't want to be windowed. Uh Let's read out these names, please. <laughs> yeah. Brock the Barbarian, Buzzguts the Destroyer, Mock the Womanizer, Prissy the Brute, and okay. then we have Sparring. The, the two first ones sounds all right, they sound like barbarian, like barbarian names, but the last two... Prissy? Yeah. I, I, I guess that's the... Actually... Uh, I guess Prissy the Brute would make sense for a Halfling Barbarian. <laughs> Anyways, let's actually get started and start the timer. <laughs> <laughs> On the horizon, the proud barbaric chieftain saw a group of local peasants with their tiny fists and huge heads. They looked terrifying. He decided to uh, surrender. <laughs> what? Look Prissy at his Lafon. name. <laughs> Wait, pre another... Uh, Wait, is he gonna be Prissy the Brute? I get the feeling. <laughs> the name's Brock, and the only thing that's gonna surrender are your bollocks if you don't tell us how uh, you win battles around here. I would normally suggest the full two hours strategy tutorial, but judging by your um, straightforwardness, I suggest the short version. Walk up and crush your enemies. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's roll. Okay, your boys, your enemies. Okay, is this similar to those fake games or such where you just need to have a bigger number? Yeah, crush. <laughs> we crush them. Okay. Uh, crush them with having at least 10 survivors, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Cooking unicorn meat, really? Oh. I may have seen Splattercat play this. Okay. Let's see. There comes a time, Fuzzguts, when gold loses its luster, when Bollocks sag below your knees, and all, all that's left is a father's love for his son. Fuzzgut. You don't get it there. I smashed my phone, okay? Do you know how many apps I have to reinstall? <laughs> Fuck your phone, you fat blabbering gobshite. This is Generia. Your great grand uh, shirk lost this land in a great battle and... Generia... <laughs> generic? We must avenge him, I know. I got so upset when great granddad died. Gosh darn it. <laughs> you weren't alive, you idiot. Seriously, though, will this cutscene be much longer? I have to weave. I'm giving you what they call an ultimatum, boy. Drop the milkshake, start drinking the blood of enemies, and be a man for Coombe's sake. Our tribe future depends on it. Okay, there. Yeah, I will be in a barbarian. What if people, you know, get hurt? That's the whole point. I fucking hope you know, people get hurt. See that outpost over there? I want you to hurt them real bad. Go. <laughs> I think you accidentally misspoke there. No. I think mean, you said barbarian. Or barbarian. Barbarian uh, is another game. <laughs> yeah. One well, that's nice, but uh, it doesn't really have much story, so not really our style for streaming. Maybe for yeah. just a hangout stream or such. Yeah, this one I am actually skeptical of if it's dream like, like there is some kind of story, yes. Yeah, and it's but... definitely charming so far. 
<laughs> have we? Oh dear. But we'll see. That's the whole reason why we gave these half an hour to basically plead that case. <clears throat> This time we will not only crush our enemies, but humiliate them by taking their lands. Barbarians, I want all these green squares to bleed orange, the color of our homeland. Okay. Uh, let's roll. Choose your simpletons. Point to target. <laughs> also, it's a trail of bones. Primary movement method, point at the group, then point to the destination. They'll find a way. You can't walk freely on enemy fields, you have to claim them first. Okay. And we find a, a bunch of other guys. Add more guys to the group. Okay, turn together. Must, must have a simplified mushroom wars. Okay. Hey, the more you have, the faster that goes. Okay. We can draw a path to send them on a specific way. Okay, draw the exact path. Okay. I, I this know these fun. games. Oh, oh, I say, but I know these games, you're likely gonna end up learning how to split your enemy. No, split your forces, not the enemies. Yeah, that just splitting their split forces, the forces is, uh, is the whole point splitting them from head to feet. Yeah, but yeah, that's like splitting a group into two to flank and whatnot. Hey, there were only a few of those blue pajama fannies a second ago. What happened? Those peasants must be banging like rabbits. They're multiplying. Please mind the language. They're not banging, they are recruiting. The more in the hut, the faster they recruit. Okay, if that's how you that want to call it. That did not help his case. That only made it worse. Uh, so we can get more troops by parking them on huts like that, and they will just uh, they will just spread through mitosis. <laughs> okay, we have two seconds too long. Oh well, continue. <laughs> Moving on. We got so new with us. That was just the beginning, lads. Are you ready for the greatest invasion ever? Mark, what is best in life? Muck. <laughs> ah, classic Muck. Fosgot, what is good in life? Uh, moi? That's me in French. I'm Fosgot. Uh, what I told you. What you told me? Crush. Oh yeah, crush your enemies. See them, uh, see them, see them eat marshmallows? Go team! <laughs> Doubtful. <laughs> you heard the lad. Get the crushing. Okay. <laughs> Surveying the battlefield, Brock realized that this was no time to crush enemies. His forces were outnumbered by Janarian Highlanders preparing to attack from the mountains. Got the Game Master shot already. Okay, I'm a few lads short, but I remember what you said about those magical huts. Okay. Can I pre plan something? Or no. Get all your boys to this hut. Yeah, this is like Mushroom Wars. Okay. Let's see the amount of scent. Okay. Uh, that speeds them up. Uh, how do I split them off? I can't have them all, I think you just did a mistake by uh, sending oh, all of them into one. Okay, if you oh, select them from here, you can send parts of it. A selection of them. Okay. Okay, that's just that. Okay, we could we could likely have split off. We could split off normally, but it's just that it was disabled for the moment. Uh, Twenty. Ten. Go there. The rest of you go back. Can't say I've heard of this mushroom war, though. 
there is a game that plays like this, and uh, well, a lot of mushrooms. Yeah. And we'll there's apparently two games as far as I know. Take back. And we're just going to make a massive forest. Oh, okay, there's, there's a maximum that you can send. Okay, there could only be 50 at a time on that. Okay. Makes sense. And we can select more specific amounts, it seems. Can we join in on that? Yep. Actually... All of you. Okay. Go back for more. Okay, this could get interesting. Complicated likely as well. But still. If you can turn off these worthless hints in the options menu. <laughs> okay. And yeah, we've won. Oh, that, wait, is that... That is actively cap capturing all of their lands. Okay. Hmm. Can you I, I could, all the challenges? I could like this game a lot. Hmm. We'll just have to see how it is for story. I don't know what's good in life, Dan. Are you mad at me? You're a piece of fucking gutter snipe. But no, you spoke true for the first three words at least. Crush your enemies. <laughs> ah, cool. I give you one task, Fuzzgut. Just one. Live by those three words. Always. Do that and you'll make your father proud. He will truly be my son. Are you craving cupcakes? Maybe not. Come on, a cupcake wouldn't, it won't kill you. I stuff some down my shorts. Here. Uh, okay, they will definitely kill you. Okay, we have side objectives. A fresh village to invade. Invade. Barbarians attack. Now they're just taking it over. Okay. Now's the time for those generians to taste pain. Put these fools on the wheel of death. Trap the flaming diapers on the rest. <laughs> Come on. Stop, Dad. Don't do it. They love us. I don't give a flying bugbear if they love us, you dumb cop shites. What the... Is that beer? I've been trying to tell you, this place is full of hops. But those scenarians have never seen a beer before. So I taught them how to make it. They had a taste and it blew their minds. Now they're all pissed and wanting to blow me. Uh, hmm. I hate to say this, Fuscat, but good work. How would you like to make these scenarians build as a brewery? Oh, damn. If we didn't have puke breath, I'd kiss ya. Make sure they pay us a beer tribute now and then, to thank us for our mercy. Okay, conquer villages to set up breweries there. Each grants you a batch of beer every time you complete a story battle. Okay. I'm guessing we can use those for upgrades or such? <laughs> I have no idea what this does. Collect your first beer. Okay. Also, no, people, if we stream this, we will not be drinking beer. Nope. Okay, it's the beer economy. Okay. Conqueror's Handbook. Okay. Hmm. Wait, we're attacking hey, you? Bunch. Okay, we have split forces. Hmm. Set up quickly. The more guys we have in the hut, the quicker they recruit. Okay. We need this. Okay, they're not attacking. Okay. Oh, that's a ruined one up there. Because I guess you want to repair to make a new one? Send 30 there. Send another 10 to join them in. Take the buildings. So, I mean, we can we can select more precise numbers. It said, join in with that, please. Hmm. 
yet. Later in this game, it would definitely be. Uh, oh, they will be. They will rebuild those. Okay. It'll be a. Uh, yeah, you'll need to make sure. Can we? Yep. Forty. Okay. We'll need to make sure. That we need to strike a balance between, well, building our forces and striking out with forces. Oh yeah. Okay, one. They will only get up to fifty, and any uh, any others uh, will stay behind. Okay. Yeah, I think you can sending them uh, to reinforce when they're losing numbers like now. Yeah. Okay, this game could be a lot of fun, but it would probably also uh, get pretty tough. Okay. Let's see, what is... Okay, okay. It wants us to keep um, those occupied. Okay. Trust him having at least 300? Okay. <laughs> that would be quite a few. Oh, I thought that was to not lose that uh, a certain amount of people, but now they wanted to recruit that many. Yeah. Okay, oh. that, would that would have been very much overkill. Okay. Crush enemies in 30 seconds and having at least 10 survivors. Okay. Uh, whatever this is, let's grab it. <laughs> hey, Pissy La Poop, what's the deal with this crowd rushing towards us? <laughs> oh, they're just an overpowering mob of furious peasants tired of your obscene deeds in Generia and eager to smack your buttocks. <laughs> you should attack them right away. Retreat! Get it? Yeah, let's hide in this building. Hey, this is no ordinary yacht. There's nice stuff inside swords, armor, and training equipment. You've just found the warrior's barracks, where you can quickly train your simpletons to warriors. You might not want to tell us that. Warriors are just damn strong, much stronger than the simpletons. Okay, so we have different kinds. Okay. I'm guessing they're going to count for like two peasants each. <laughs> they get thrown even further. Okay, this battle is more than set. One fame, though. Yeah, time. Okay. But uh, two seconds again. Uh, please listen to me, little, little fat boy. You must let me go to that village. Do you know what Prima Nocte is? Uh, there's a young bride waiting for me. Beautiful red hats. You really must see her. We can't be friends anymore. You're, like, supposed to be our slave and shite. Slave? Me? Count Prisia Lafop? I'm not supposed to be a slave. Let me see the script. <laughs> He's reading the fucking script. The what? The script for this stupid game. Ah, here it is. Right in my pocket. Hmm, let's see. Ah, yes, it states, Fat Boy releases Prissy, Prissy skips to <laughs> town like a happy little girl. Name's Fuzzgut, and you're a fucking liar. At least he's not that dumb. Uh, look at his weapon. Yeah, <laughs> it's a butter knife. Uh, uh, no wait, Fuzzgut. Remove that huge blade from my face and let me finish. You call that huge? Prissy <laughs> <laughs> uh, infiltrates the village and lets the barbarians through the back door. Infiltrates? Oh, yeah, of course. That village is heavily guarded by all types of brutes. Your tribe would probably defeat them, eventually, after a few unfortunate deaths on your side. Hopefully not your father. He's a good man. But it would be a shame if your folly caused his death. I love my father. I must. I will protect him. Then let me go and it will help you. I believe in you, Puzzgut. Okay. I will give him points for being decent with manipulation, but <laughs> it's Puzzgut he's manipulating, so that's not a high bar, I think. 
Well, I guess if... Fantastic. Ta-ta. Where do you think you're going, your royal fatness? Oh, who? Osgot, gird your loins. The land won't conquer itself. Okay. Some villages are guarded by your enemies. Win the battle to take it. Okay. Where are you, my beautiful carrier, the carrier pigeon? Where's my message from the village? A message that says they will kill these barbarians and free me from this wretched imprisonment. Muck. <laughs> I think Muck ate the pigeon. Oh, St. Trian's foot. Come on. Muck, the village is surrounded by armed guards. Big ones, with helmets and big sharp thingies. Muck. Ah, oh, they did get my message. I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. Mark, did a bird explode on your face? Wipe that shite off. Mark? Uh, I just noticed that Mark's tattoos. Okay. That is guard look mean. They're shite in their chain mill. <laughs> Buzzgut, I want you to watch this pansy fucker. We will be right back. Okay, I like how they're just dodging around actual swears. Or more, <laughs> more obvious ones. Let's see. Two minutes and 40 survivors. Okay. Let's see. I, I like that we have a moment to survey the area. Okay. So we have a mostly equal... We have things mostly equal. Uh, let's see. And 10 there. Oops. Actually, that's going to be very. Hmm. Actually, pull back. There. Uh, yeah, join together. There. Take over that. Okay, that's going to be mostly equal numbers, but it's warriors against peasants. Uh, swamp slow. Okay. Uh, uh, half of you go there. Okay, we, we need to outproduce them. Oh, okay. So only only simpletons. Oh. Okay, only simpletons can recruit. Yep. A group of any profession turns into simpletons after visiting the huts. Okay. A wee bit of the rural hospitality helps a lad rediscover the joy of simple pleasures li like booze, sex, and motorhead. <laughs> really? Okay. They're retreating. Okay, yeah, we just need to outproduce them at the moment. And now they turn into simpletons again. Yep. They need to outnumber them. Oh, no, they're retreating. All of them. Okay, we need to capture this. Okay, I'm going to keep sending batches of 10, it seems. Okay. Uh. Okay, Swamp belongs to no one and can't be claimed. Okay. Hmm. Ever? Oh. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think you're going to be a bit too aggressive. Yeah. Uh, try again. Are you an uh, Elvis preschooler who wants to start this battle from the beginning? Come on. What? You just confessed to me one, alright. There's a little courage to confess about that, Captain. Uh, no. Everyone here. Okay, then we can easily take this. Uh, 
five, go there. Okay. Okay, now it now yeah, now it requires us to balance out uh, production, defense and attack. Okay. Yeah, like, do you want hmm. to use these two for recruitment, I guess, suspect? Yeah, we yep. should send any spare ones to be upgraded. Okay. Let's see if that'll chase them away. No. Reinforce. Uh, yeah. Uh, simple rule, men of different professions can never stand in the same place. Barbarian can have a messy hut, messy table, and even a messy relationship. But he should always keep shite in order on the battlefield. <laughs> Wait, how? how? They're armored. Yeah, but our units there were armored as well. Yeah, but you said an unarmored unit against him as well. Yeah. Okay, I thought I... Hmm. I thought I... I thought they'd gotten to here already. Okay, must have sent them away too early. Hmm. Yeah, things are already getting a bit tricky. Okay. okay. Five there. Down there. This. That's the timer. Okay, let's try and finish this first. Then we'll uh, then we'll call it on this one. Hmm. Okay. Okay, it's already getting a bit tricky. Okay. Should be able to tear that down and rebuild it easily enough. And yeah, when they send an attack, we can just send this batch down to get armored up. Defend. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, there, there is more to this than just... Uh, what it, yeah, what just what it would seem at the first glance. Okay. Everyone there. Okay. Some ten over there. Claimed. Oh, that's going to be trouble. Send in reinforcements. Capture that. Okay. And I think we've got this. You failed on time, but again. I don't really this see how we could have won this on time. You need to be a very good pro one at this to do it on time. Okay. We'll probably take loss. Yeah, some quite some loss. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> The warriors really just kick their asses, it seems. I'm guessing maybe warriors count for like three peasants or something. Or simpletons, as they call them, but still. Okay. Trimming beards. Okay. Yeah, this could... This could get uh, troublesome real quick. 
but yeah, I'm liking it at least. Yeah, just on sure about streaming it. Yeah. Like, this story, but the gameplay I am worried that we may get extremely stuck on. Uh, okay, here it says power two, defense against projectiles two. Uh, we're skilled at mostly at drinking beer. Have some. <laughs> The humble servants of an area will probably become lunch mates. Uh, except that they, they bang like rabbits. Excuse me, they recruit in the huts. If it bleeds, we can kill it. For honor, glory, and virgins. Warriors are just damn strong. Much stronger than the simpletons. Yeah, they, they count for two each. It's about. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely be playing this more on my own time. At we, is it too hard? I'm back. Reset. Main menu. <laughs> okay, jackasses. <clears throat> Are you sure you want to run back to your normal life where you don't get to conquer anything and rarely impale your enemies on points and things? Yep. Okay, I do like it when games have a bit of attitude like that. But not to the point that they're just being utterly condescending. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, dear. Third yeah, game. Fun game. Just... Unsure about streaming due to the gameplay. Yeah. Can get ex I can see us getting stuck. Okay, this one needs GOG to start up, so it's putting a bit of a delay on it. There we go. Curse of the Dead Gods. <laughs> Why did that I have seen a so? little bit of this, but it has been a while. Focus Home Interactive. Okay. And. Yeah, again, I know pretty much nothing about this game other than that it looks interesting and such. So let's enter the Lost Temple. Save slots, already a point for it. And starting the timer. That That's really that's good anim animated. Very smooth. Almost thief-like with this. So far. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> okay, simple but really well animated. Okay. WSD. Okay, bit Diablo-like. Yep. Nice. <laughs> I was, I was partially not expecting that to get lit like that. Okay. Yeah, definitely a temple. And when a temple is full of skulls, uh, yeah, typically not the uh, best of signs. <coughs> oh dear. No other way. But probably also one, yeah. another thing I like about in the games, and we talked about this recently, is I feel like indie games can do a more open to do art styles like this. Yeah. Like a lot of AAA developers are just obsessed to. Oh, oh, bad idea to touch that. With trying to get hyper realistic graphics, which, well, yeah, typically ends more looking less realistic. Yeah, this then also forces people to try to get by better computers or better parts. That I'm not be surprised if there's a D between them and graphics developers. Okay, that hand looks not good. Hmm. Oh dear. The vibe of so say... far oh, is like a Cthulhu uh, Diablo. Uh, <clears throat> no. Now, look at the iconography. Yeah, more Eldritch Diablo, probably better. Uh, no, no, it's, no. Killian. Yeah, I, it's Aztec at all, but there Aztec does not have to specifically mean that it can't be Eldritch or such, because well, <laughs> purple and such, it's typically <laughs> also dead gods. Yeah. <clears throat> Steve, you did have me worried. You did have me worried for a moment. Okay. Light reveals hidden traps. Standing in darkness increases all damage you take plus 50%. Watch out for the indicator at the bottom of your screen to know if you're stand in light or in darkness. Okay. Oop. Equip your torch by switching stands uh, with the mouse button. Okay. Mouse wheel. Bleh. 
Use attack action to attack with it. Torch can spread fire to braziers or enemies. Elements on fire spread light around. Okay. That could... That could really complicate things, but it could also make things very interesting. Yeah, and it's called Brazer. Yeah. <laughs> Not Brazier. Uh, yeah, that's the way it's. That's the way it's, it would read if you lead the letters out each by each. But oh well. Uh, dodge and stamina. Use dodge action to quickly roll and evade enemy attacks or traps. Each dodge requires one of your stamina points visible at the feet of your character. Once stamina is depleted, you cannot dodge anymore. Stop attacking or dodging for a short time to quickly replenish stamina. Okay, with space bar. Okay. Good to have that around your character then you don't need to just glance to the sides or such to see if you have well <clears throat> if you have uh, the stamina or not yeah you share something because i feel like it's, it's something that has not helped with uh, that word games will gladly use that word when they do games however they ever speak it yeah whenever there's an actual voice dialogue then they will never use it all the time we use it when it's not voiced. Okay, basic combat. Equip your weapons by switching stands. Chain multiple main attacks to trigger a powerful finisher. Use secondary to shoot with your ranged weapon. Finishers and ranged attack require one stamina point. Okay. I just start to wonder, is this, is this a case of where no one agrees on how it's pronounced? Could be. Two, three, four. Okay. One, two. Okay. Okay, it takes a moment to aim with the shots. Oop. There we go. Okay, hold main attack. Okay, advance combat, hold main attack for a while, then release to trigger a charge attack for one stamina point. Hold secondary attack for a while, then release at the perfect time to trigger a more damaging perfect shot. Chain a secondary attack into a series of main attacks to trigger a unique offhand combo. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, less Diablo, more Hades. Ow. Yeah, this came, I think this came out before Hades even. And I think it's has oh, oh, rogue uh, roguelike yeah. elements, but I'm not sure if it's fully roguelite or roguelite. Yeah. However, I forgot the, uh, how much story it has. But I have only seen uh, Splattercat play this a little bit for one video. Okay, we do have a lot of health, but. It, the game is probably going easy as it because of the jewelry and such. Uh, use dodge action to avoid enemy attacks. Successfully evading an attack triggers a perfect dodge which restores the stamina. Okay. Uh, parry action with shift. The very last moment to counter enemy attacks. A successful parry weakens the enemy. It will take more damage for a short time. And restores two stamina. Okay. There we go. Okay, it even shows up that they will take more damage and highlights them. Okay. Shut up. There we go. Hmm. End of training, continue to the end of the room if you start the start. Okay. Okay. Bunch of loot. Crystal skulls. Are powerful artifacts you can collect from enemies. Crystal skulls are bound to your character and persist even after death. Between each exploration, you can trade crystal skulls in the underworld in exchange for permanent upgrades. Okay, so, yeah, very much roguelite <clears throat> with uh, comparison to, like, rogue legacy, but isometric. I mean, 
and akin to Hades. Jade rings. Gifts from the dead gods to who, those who overcome the trials of the temple. Jade rings are bound to your character persists. After each second, you can, uh, can trade jade rings, and jade rings in the underworld to gain access to new gear. Okay. Hmm. All right. You can't smash these. Okay. Map. Each temple is an assembly of rooms linked together. Each room type represents the main reward you can expect to find in it. Each time you complete a room, you can choose your path and progress through the temple. Use the map action, okay, to consult the temple layouts. Map is tab. <clears throat> okay, we have gold, weapon, upgrade, relic, attributes, healing, challenge, vault, champion, and unknown. Okay. And, um, hmm. Okay, we can get choose from three parts. Let's go for this relic one. That didn't sound <laughs> good. Fiery halls. I hope we hmm. can repaint the coat. <clears throat> corruption. Watch out for your corruption gate at the bottom of your screen. It's already at 20 of 100. Each door you go through increases your corruption. For each full gauge, you become corrupted and cross the ne crossing the next door will curse you. Okay. So, that's a punishment for if you're trying to take too many... Uh, trying to take... Uh, go through too many rooms. Okay. Yep. Let's find something to set on fire. Well, I guess he will do. Now. Yeah, so basically, no, plan, plan your route carefully, and yeah. don't get greedy. Yeah. Shadows of Vigor, okay. Take. And he has turned 40 in mid-battle. Yeah, from an attack that that guy landed on us. Uh, inventory to consult your current gear. You also have access to the codex and system options, okay. Something set off that trap. Ow. Oh, yeah, that gave that, more that corruption. That one is to give me your curses. Greed kills. As of defeating an enemy, the greed kill timer starts. Chain kills to increase your greed kill count and the amount of gold released by enemies. Hitting enemies, perfect dodges and parries refill the timer. Greed kill series reset if timer drops. Okay. What set off this trap? Okay, hitting them sets them off. Okay. Ah. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, another one of those. Get that. I feel like that one of you definitely wanna shoot. So when possible, we want to stay in the light, but when there's just not no option. There we go. Yeah. Okay, I oh, thought yeah, he'd be stunned it. longer. Yeah, definitely not too good with this, huh? Ooh, careful. Yeah, I'm not surprised you're supposed to fail this one. Okay. Yep. I'm using up too much stamina. There we go. Okay. Now, what have we here? Offerings. When you interact with a weapon, relic, or attributes altar, you can make an offering to the gods to claim one of the three presented boons. Make a gold offering to spend gold. Make a blood offering to get it for free, but at the cost of some corruption. Okay. And presuming we... Well, we don't want those curses. <clears throat> but we don't have enough gold for these. Okay. For 30, 
50 or 70 corruption. Wait, yeah, they all cost corruption. Uh, <laughs> Since no. we don't have enough gold. Okay, so that's that's a good reason to get your greed kill counter up high. Uh, let's see, plus 10 damage in light. Passing through a door inflicts 25... Oh, 25% less corruption. So 15 instead of 20. Plus 3 perception. <clears throat> Perfect Dodge restores one more stamina. Let's take this one. We'll also get to see what happens with those curses then. Okay. And it looks... Okay, we can get up to five curses, I'm guessing. Or four, and maybe the fifth one... The fifth one is fatal. Okay. Let's go to the unknown. And yeah, 15 corruption. Blurred vision. The mind is confused and desires conflict uh, and desires conflicting. The path is veiled and the future uncertain. Part of the map transforms into unknown rooms. Okay, that's actually that's actually not as bad. Each time you fill your corruption gauge, you are cursed. Curses add modifiers to the classic game rules and last until the end of the run. Wear the fifth and final curse, for it will strongly jeopardize your chance at success. Okay, so it's not instant kill, but it will, well, really, really harm you. Yeah, in making things harder. Mm. So it's still Ow. a good idea to keep the curses as low as possible. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that was just a gold, yes, a kill challenge. The longer we take, the less gold we get. Okay. Okay. All the cool you reminded me of a uh, thing I saw on YouTube uh, last week. Oh, yeah. no, actually, no, it wasn't this week. It's one of those wizard uh, jokes. Oh. I cast. One hundred million dollars in nickels, and a lot of nickels fall upon a goblin or yeah. imp or whatever it was, it was supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, you see the evilness of that spell, don't you? Yeah. I'm... And also, just seriously, one hundred million dollars in nickels? Like th th that sounds almost cruel. Yeah, that is cruel. <laughs> Because that would Especially weigh when... more than you. you. I yes. wonder if you can parry those blasts, but I'm not going to risk it. Oh! But yeah, fall them fall upon you, you're definitely dead. That many coins. I just own it that many nickels, it just makes you wonder why? There. Nope, oh, even. Oh, hello, you're new. So you're oh. the main target. Oh, it's a buffer. Or no healer. Oh, you can parry those. Okay, good to know. Did it just summon a new one? Not going to try parrying that. Yeah, a bit of a... too big of a risk. Okay. Um... wait. Am I missing some? This is supposed to be a weapon room, right? Yep, uh, yes. Here. Let's see. Again, we can pay gold or corruption. Let's see. Kills increase movement speed for five seconds. A swift bow. Plus one percent damage point... Uh, with the base damage per point of dexterity, of which we have none. And we have hunting axes, throwing, plus 100% damage against weakened enemies. Also based off perception, plus 15% damage while in light. And then we have the Akeen bow. Okay, this is, I'm presuming this is going to switch our ranged weapon, of course. Fully charged shots inflict 50 more damage per character hit. Plus 30 damage to elites, champions, and bosses. Plus 20% damage against uninjured. 
20% chance to inflict lightning damage. Okay. Hmm. It is the ranged option. Hmm. Or, wait, oh, wait. If we pick these, does it also remain uh, remove our main weapon? Because with this one, we get our machete Ooh. here as well. Wait, hmm. you, you do have a... Wait, m main weapon. Yep, main weapon. Uh, sword. Wait, does it? Hmm. Okay, and those are, are two-handed. Ah, uh, yeah, two-handed bow. Okay, let's try yeah. this one. Yeah, you replace your machete. I guess you can put in the other slot. Or, I guess the other yeah, slot thing next to the weapons or something else. Something else, probably, yeah. Okay. Alright, now you have no melee, but that might be good. Yeah, but we do have... Wait, uh, well, uh, actually. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we... Hmm. Yeah. That is curious. Wait, what, what, your photos were melee access? I, I thought they were still ranged weapon, but yeah, I just got that confused. Oh, oh webbing. That caught fire. Yeah, another curse coming. Okay, that's actually that's actually interesting to have a a main ranged weapon. Brewing axe hmm. and a pistol. Ow. Oh, there, you're new. Ooh. Ow. 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 That would have been a kill. Up. Okay. Ooh. Look at your health. Yeah, eight. <laughs> hmm. Wait. I'm a bit too... Accidentally <laughs> rhymed. Let's see. Bow, buckler. Wait. Secondary. Can we... oh, yeah, I misclicked. Okay. Oh, it is a good one. Uh. Oh. Okay. That. Hmm. Uh, okay. So we don't have to have a ranged weapon as our secondary. Yeah. For apparently, if you pair with it. You want to go parry, uh, will take more damage when you hit them for a short moment, apparently. Let's see. Where? Yeah. Escape is inventory. Let's see. After parry, your main weapon will do critical damage for two seconds, 20% chance to inflict fire damage, and plus 10% base damage. Okay. All right. Uh, we've got a bestiary, lurkers. Uh, defeat main lurk. Okay. Eagles, serpents, and pantheon. Okay. Death Wives. Okay. That's a name. Uh, let's go for the golds. Trap chests. The only blow that cannot be parried is the dagger you thrust in your, into yourself. Greed is the most ferocious of all enemies. Chests are sealed and trigger an attack that must be parried to unlock them. Chests have a chance to drop an additional... Okay, so that... Okay, pros and cons to this one. Yeah. Like, it's still a curse, but you can get some benefit if you handle it correctly. Okay, first objective. I mean, there's a bunch of them. Oh, away from that. And that's death. Okay. 44% there. 10 minutes. 28. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, the game seems to be yeah, like a lot of roguelites, sadly. Rather short on story. Nope. Oh, three colors for three attributes. 
The underworld is a place between life and death where the dead gods slumber. You have to turn near the central st stele in the main hall to access the underworld. You can offer crystal skulls and jade rings to the gods to unlock new upgrades. Persistent and remain after death. Okay. And what have we here? Okay, our equipment. Hmm. Let's see. Blessings. Blessings of the Dead God are powerful passive abilities that will help you during subsequent explorations. Unlock blessings, then equip each in the available blessing slot. Return to the underworld after each exploration to change your current blessings. Okay. So we have three spots total, only one at the moment. Let's see. And this is something else, another currency that we have don't have access to yet. Probably from killing bosses or such. Uh, Tamox Protection, Blessing Jaguar, Fire Illuminates Farther, all damage taken is reduced by 20% while in the light. Furious Skin, Gain Fury, deal 50% more damage for 6 seconds when you take damage. And generally you want to avoid taking damage. Traps deal 100 more damage to enemies. Clever Kills from the Eagle. Okay, I'm guessing we can get one of each of these lines from Jaguar, Eagle and Serpent. Or it could just be that you can take whichever you want and combine them. Uh, let's see. Favor of Sekal. Blessing Serpent. A thousand gold and five perception at the start of your exploration. Okay. Let's go with this one. Okay. You can only have three at once. Okay. Forsaken Weaponry. Restore power to the forsaken weapons of the temple. Unlock weapons can be found in the temple in future explorations. Okay. So, not starting out with them, but you can find them. Yep. And that's the timer. Hmm. Charge attacks deal critical damage. Send the wind slash to damage all enemies in path. Okay. Provides passive illumination. Okay, let's unlock that. That would be really effective. Weapon altars. Yeah. Uh, ta -da -ta. Offer gear before your exploration. Restore altars from your choice of starting weapons. Okay, upgrade them and they offer higher quality. Okay. And divine favors. It lets you refresh the gear offered in weapon and relic shrines. Unlock more favors to increase the number of. T okay, resets or re rolls. Okay. Now this game. This could be a lot of fun, but yeah, yeah. Sadly, not much active story seems. Yeah, that's the only. The, uh, the other one was there's a little story, but the gameplay could become a issue. Here's this issue is here more of the gameplay is good, very good, but there's no story. Hmm. Or, but there's probably is a story just. Yeah, yeah. Sadly, with many of these, uh, it, it's mostly found at the end of levels and such, or at the end of runs. Okay, still looks like it could be a lot of fun, so maybe just another oh, yeah. just hangout stream game. But I'll definitely be playing this some more on my own time. <clears throat> and I think we have... Yeah, we can go for at least one more. And this one is also another GOG game, and... That opened on the wrong window. Okay. Yep. No, oh, there it goes. Yep. Cheer dealers. Uh, that Bella looks War. so much like Dark Expansion. Memory of Mikhail Zinov. Every day you were invented, you reign forever in our hearts. Okay. We're on to the nearest stations. We have an emergency. We listen people one after the other. We need help. It was already too late when they called us. The rescue team was ready for anything, but then, that bright light, before I could open my eyes, we were the only ones left. Distrust. Oh, I have been a lot of the thing vibes from this. Yep. <laughs> okay, wait, this game even has co-op. Okay. Uh, let's go to the tutorial. 
Okay, starting the timer. It's the entrance of the building. Send the first polar explorer inside. To do this, click anywhere inside the building. Okay. Second polar explorer. Yeah. Okay. Also send them in. Okay. Uh, QE to turn. Mouse wheel to move. Zoom. Okay. These are the vital signs of each of the selected explorer. They show his or her current well-being. To find out more about a particular vital sign, hover the mouse over. Okay, so we have warmth, stamina, and satiety, or hunger. Hungry character loses health points. Feed something to restore them. Uh, tired loses health points. Have them sleep to restore. Okay, and warmth is well warmed. Continue. Is even a word? Temperature. They can become sick, try and avoid. Building is not heated, the explorers are freezing. Fire up the, yep, fire this up. <clears throat> Planks can be found throughout the polar base. They make for good source of fuel and can be used in numerous repairs. Pick up planks, okay. Pick up. Okay. And then fire this. Okay. The progress bar. Okay. If a building is check the windows, open and broken windows prevent the building from heating up. Okay. Makes sense, of course. And I'm presuming that shows how long it'll stay well lit. Excellent. The building is now warm and the polar explorers are no longer freezing. Yeah, as their warmth is going up quick. This is displayed on the icon above it. It's time to explore the next room. Uh uh, remember to keep an eye on how much fuel is left in the furnace. Okay. Yeah, the building is dark because the generator is out of fuel. In dark rooms, polar explorers move slowly and must rely on their pocket lights. Start the generator as soon as possible so you don't miss anything useful. You can't do that with your hands, you need a tool. You can't have gas on this shelf. If it is full, it will refuel three generators. Okay. Let's move you forwards as well. Okay, one gas can, click on the appropriate task, empty vintage generator, okay, and yeah, this, the, the reason I picked this game is because it just gives big uh, thing, the thing vibes, okay, we're empty, and I don't know much fuel, oh, dear. some doors are locked, like this one, there are several ways to open a door, Many of which become available only after you find the right tool. However, if you find a ring of keys, you can always open a door by finding the corresponding key. This takes a long time, but doesn't require a tool. And we have a key ring. <coughs> well, one character is busy opening the door, assign a different task to the other character. Send him to explore this blackboard. Okay, could contain some useful information. Instructions for the POI stove. Coal is the recommended fuel. The stove can also burn wood and can be used as a <coughs> garbage incinerator. Uh, hunger level begin to starve over time. If you don't feed them, they'll begin to lose their health. Yep. Look for something edible in this nightstand. Click on the icon above. Polo Explorer found food and placed in the inventory. Open the inventory. Okay. Okay, it's shared. Not uh, You don't need to keep in mind who has what, I'm guessing. You can find different kinds of foods throughout the base. Different foods restore different levels of hunger. Some foods are raw and come more nutritious when cooked. To feed an explorer, drag food to them. Okay. Protein bar. When you close the inventory by pressing X, it will perform the action. Okay. <clears throat> mm hmm. Process of the task is shown here. Okay. It's an explorer to search the cabinets. Yep. Uh, you. That's a closed window, so let's keep that closed. Bad news: the explorer cut himself while searching the cabinets. When searching, while searching base, explorers can suffer from various negative effects. Each effect does something different to the explorers. To learn more about effects, hover over its icon. Reduces health, can be stopped using bandages. Okay, okay yeah, he's bleeding out. Okay, search that freight. Okay, 
stop something from affecting your exact appropriate item from the inventory. Okay. There. Apply that. Okay. Hmm. Excellent. The cabinet contained a jacket. You can find jackets that provide varying degrees of protection from the cold throughout the base. The warmer a jacket keeps a character, the longer a character can be in the cold without losing health. Place a jacket on Explorer. Inventory, yep. Okay, let's put that on our first guy here. Okay. You don't have the tools you need to perform a specific action. In this case, you could turn this crate into planks. Okay. Sorry, stuck in the leg of this table. Pull it out. Okay. Yeah, let's turn it into planks. A bit of Project Zomboid with this, being able to break down stuff. Eight planks, okay. Uh, has found it's displayed in the tools window. Okay. Saw is one of the uh, tools you can find on the base. The progress bar displays its increased deterioration. Uh, some broken tools can be repaired on a workbench. Okay, so yeah, we'll want to be careful with them. Uh, electronic map of the base. Okay, M. Polar base divided into zones. The map displays the zone in which your expedition is located. For security reasons, each zone has a fence and provides only one door to the next zone. Look for the closed door icon to, <clears throat> to find the exit. Okay, that's over there, probably. Okay, we can still zoom in and out like this. The map displays the buildings in the current zone and the location and status of doors and other important objects such as explorers, workbenches in the past that provides access to the next zone. Okay, so you can't just run through the next area where you need to find a key card or something. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. Completed your training and acquired enough knowledge to begin in an in independent study of the base. Good luck. Okay, short and simple. That's all right. Adventure and challenge offers a good balance between challenge and ease of play. It is a good mode for beginners. Some achievements are not available. You can unlock only two characters. The types of buildings are instantly indicated on the on the map. And challenge for the courageous of heart only. This mode does not forgive mistakes, but it does offer the most enjoyment. You can appear in every achievement. You can unlock every character. It contains a secret ending. You don't know the type of the building until a survivor enters it. Let's go with this one for the moment. Okay. Olaf Haraldsson. Uh, Olaf is the head of housekeeping, which makes him the most important person on the base. Without him, life in the Arctic would be unbearable. He has 15 years of experience in his line of work and can operate a variety of mechanisms with his eyes closed. Okay. Cold resistance, walking speed, and running speeds. Expert Polar Explorer. His character needs fewer planks to kindle a furnace and generators work longer when he fuels them. Okay. So they each have stats and perks. And a starting inventory. And we have Ermer Dillinger. A successful polar expedition requires different kinds of experts. Ermer is a psychologist. Her training allows her to remain relaxed and focused in the most critical of si uh, critical situations. Ermer loves to be in great physical shape. Moreover, she <clears throat> prefers to eat light and can suppress the feelings of hunger for a long time. Okay, she has two and everything. And she has modest rations perk. This character grows hungry slower and requires less food for a full recovery. But she starts off with nothing in her inventory. <laughs> and we have James Abrams. James comes from a long line of polar explorers. His grandfather was among the first to conquer the Arctic during his expeditions to the Land of Icy Terror. An experienced explorer, James has managed dozens of expeditions and learned to adapt to even the most extreme conditions. He has a strong body and can sustain himself in extremely low temperatures. Okay, he has 3 one, 1 and frost resistance. Can easily tolerate low to temperatures, especially while wearing a jacket. Okay. Let's start with him and her. Yeah, they, I'm guessing they with the challenge. Like... Yeah. Nope. <clears throat> Go ahead. I say those two sound like solid beginners. Uh, good to, for the beginning. The other yeah. one is good, but I think he cannot outcompete it to, compared to the other two. And see, you need the overloaded reflector achievement. Earn the secret ending available in challenge mode to so unlock a third character here. Okay. No. The... Okay, that totally doesn't look like a ghost trap. Hmm. Oh. 
in a winning less in the cold. Characters in a coma who are suffering from a lot of negative effects die faster. Okay. Nope. Damn. Did that weirdo not make it fall? Or was it even? Can I move them at the same time? I think not. Okay. This place is lit up. Okay. Check is busy. No. Uh, can you search that? Okay. Are we he's searching the sack of coal? I thought he was more picking it up. Okay. A light jacket, some coal. Okay. Um. Let's see. Two heat re cold resistant. Also two cold resistant. Uh, let's give her that for the moment. There's more to find. Okay, I like how these light up through walls. Oop. We couldn't wait for you. The anomalies are out of control. Mitch and I left instructions for how to fight them in the next medical unit. And they're the result of careful observations, so follow them to the letter. Alas, is the end for me. I'm going to sleep, never to wake up. Okay. Oh, a key ring. But luck, these must be the key that, that unlocked the doors on the base. But which key goes for with which door? Okay. Now, I'm guessing we sh we'd likely be able to uh, oh, climb in through open windows. But whatever these anomalies are, are just as likely to be able to, I'm guessing. Okay. Great to search. Bag of trash. Okay. Toolkit. Some planks. Okay. And nothing of interest in here. Hmm. Some desk. Oop. The most frequent emergency on polar expeditions is food poisoning. Absorbing pills are essential in these cases. Cuts happen less often, and medical units always have bandages on hand. For frostbite and colds, use the first aid kits, which contain components specifically made to remedy these problems. For emergencies, the base contains pre-measured doses of adrenaline for in <coughs> intracardial injection. If someone is in coma, adrenaline will resuscitate him or her so you can safely bring them to the hospital. Not too sure about that that being actually a thing, but... Oh, hello. Oh, I thought that was going to be locked. And we've got Shattered Specimen, Kate. No, this is... That cannot be good. Okay. Now, I'm getting a bit of a more forwards-driven, roguelike feeling of uh, Project Zomboids. Hmm. Let me check the map. Oh, oh, that's a lot more than, that's a lot more than I thought. Like, there's obviously a more story to this one, but I am already concerned about streaming it. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, broken open container. I'm curious how much we can find in. <clears throat> if how much. There's probably some things that you can only find outside of the buildings or such, like in those open containers, but I'm going to presume that most of the stuff and interesting things will be inside. Let's see, a shovel, stock shelves, and a hammer over there. Okay. Tools are always useful to have. A handsaw. Okay, we basically found storage in the, the storage uh, place. Again, I like that it says with if the if it's clear that what's on the shelves or such that it just outright states it. A crowbar on the shelf. A little bit cabinets we need to we can't tell what's in there. Some lock picks. I like that, but it, it makes sense. Unless you look inside each and every damn box inside a uh, uh, shelf. Rotten wood, which I presume would last not uh, yeah, a shorter time. Great, I missed. 
Yeah, like you can see it burned the rotten wood. But yeah, rotten wood, the only use for rotten wood would really be to just burn it. I think. It's habitation, habitation, storage, science. But wait, is there still something more to find here? Uh, Maybe. Is there a button to highlight things? Oh, yeah, we could have, we could have torn that crate apart. Okay, uh, let's head here. Yeah, I gotta suspect you need to be careful when going to build the building for. Yeah, I think the coat is meant for when you do go between buildings. Yeah. Okay. Lockers. No, I, I, I hope the codes don't wear out just from being outside. Like, if you get attacked, then sure, I get the codes, jackets, and all that can get damaged. But just walking outside, they should not take damage. I, I hope they do. Um, um uh, what the hell is going on here? Um, are those? What's that okay. green meat? Oh. Yeah, that's rotten meat. Uh, uh, meat don't turn green when rotten. It's typically depicted as green to show that it is rotten. Yeah, but when the game's like this, it just usually don't do that. In uh, a okay. horror game, it usually means something else. Okay, so sleeping is just a start and an end you know, thing. <clears throat> you can't uh, just so wake up early from it. Oh, so you did find a yak, extra yak, and you should probably give it to someone. Out there, yep. You. Insulating tapes, multi-purpose tape for making repairs. Okay, although this food is good for firing up the furnace, you need a lot of it to keep the place warm. Okay. He is almost, yep, he's done. Oh, there's something here. I like how the doorways light up like that to make it clear that so you won't miss anything. Okay. Yeah, that looks to be everything here. Is there something here we missed? Yeah, probably another crate or something. I just realized something. The meat is green in a freezer. I don't think that's regular meat to begin with. I guess it's like it's meat for something they're experimenting on. Could be. Let's, let's try and lockpick this door. In the meantime, go. Uh, you in the meantime go over here. Splitting up is a bad idea, but it's probably better than having them both wait outside in the cold. Is it me or is the ice effect covering more and more of the screen? I think it is. Okay, she's safe. And now it's going away. Yeah, so basically... Warming up. Yeah, so basically... The frost is a danger if you're staying too long in it. Yeah. Another locked door. Okay, snack of coal. Okay, only one of these can be in act in use at a time and spoiled foods. The contents of this container smell okay, but still appear to be inedible. The worst that can happen is they poison someone. Okay, so avoid using that at all costs. Yeah, hmm. like do it can did I say it can poison someone? But it's better to not do it at all. Yeah. It's, it's one of those you eat in desperation and pray you don't get poisoned. Chemical suits. Would that be useful for keeping warm or something else? It's medical station. Uh, search that, please. A ping pong machine. 
Sterilizing powder. Laboratory door. There might be something of interest in there. Refrigerator. Hmm. Frozen vegetables. Likely that those will thaw out on their own in this area. Another lockpick. But yeah, polar expeditions and the polar and mountain expeditions are both extremely dangerous because, well, it's it's extremely difficult to get help if something goes wrong. Yeah, like okay. sure. If you have good weather, you can helicopter out in and out along that. Problem is whenever, but yeah, the danger is whenever it's a storm. Very spoiled. Old pills or past the expiration date and might yet, but might still be able to remedy a case of poisoning. Then again, they could make a person sicker. Okay. Yeah, like I think I heard that some medicine you can take fine when a past expiration date, but then the issue is more on how long was the expiration date? Yeah. And how were they kept? I think the worst medicines. Medicine you should not uh, double with that with or risk with it, probably liquid ones. Yeah. The pills may be able to handle it better, but yeah. Those creatures are man eaters. People are going to sleep and never waking up. We're trying to stay awake. I hope it keeps us safe. Okay, so sleeping might also be a risk. And I'm guessing what we're doing here is that we're making a med kit from the uh loose supplies that we found. Yep, one med kit. Wait. You slept in a room that had a lot of lights in it. Strange yeah. lights. Is there really something else here that I missed? Inside the box? Oh, only the box, it seems. Okay. Uh, let's head over here. Mm. Pinball machine. Passage okay. is over there, but we need to find the keys for it. Okay, okay. this game is interesting. I feel like it might be easier as a YouTube series than a streaming series. Yeah. Desk. We haven't been able to determine what brings about the materialization of the anomalous objects. However, Dr. Ishimura proposes a compelling hypothesis. According to his data, the materialization occurs in the presence of the high concentrations of delta waves produced by the human brain during deep sleep. Okay, so we're dealing with dream weavers or something. Okay. Oh. Or dream eaters? Get in you. Okay, first aid yeah, medical. Some coal. All of these areas are well lit. Old pills. <laughs> Who's laughing? Is someone there? You hear someone giggling in a mocking tone, but you don't see anything unusual. Is your mind playing tricks on you? Uh, this is no joke. Concentrate and stay alert. You're probably seeing things go back to what you were doing. Let's do that. Coin flip. Positive. Thanks to your laser sharp focus, you notice something be uh, behind the cabinets. Looking closer, you see a cup of coffee. Great find. A cup of coffee behind a cap. Okay. Was someone hiding that? Okay, so those can randomly happen, I'm guessing. Yeah, I guess. Oh, barrel of fuel. Oh, we can we can fill our there our gas cans from that. Use the key ring instead, please. Do we have any... Uh, okay, those are all full. You move on over here, please. It doesn't seem to be locked. Uh, key ring. I accidentally cancelled this action again. Can I just... Yes, I can just use one and two to swap between them. Uh, actually, you go back and take a nap. I, th I get the feeling that when our characters sleep, that is when anomalies can spawn. 
That's the whole thing about a game like this. It, yep. Timer already. Okay. Oh, yeah, there they come. Oh. Okay. You come over quick because she is at risk. Okay, okay. so we have another. That might be where the green meat is from. What the heck? Yeah, the green meters are their health. I don't know, uh, meat. Green meat. I should lure it into the heat or light. Uh, oh, I did not see what. You have hearts. What? But what does the heck does the heart symbol mean in this case? Because of its many eyes, this damned anomaly hates bright light. That's its weakness. Okay, and it basically just... Basically just farted at us. Okay, uh... Food. Hmm. Anomaly is nearby. Instead of panicking, I should find out if it's afraid of anything. Each kind of... Okay. Okay, uh, what is that light coming from? Oh, he, he's scared. Okay, he's trying to hide from the anomalies. Right, oh, light. They're, they're, uh... they're covering their, they're covering their mouths as well. I think. Hey, what is? Hmm. Wants to come into our world while we sleep. Can we lure it inside? Hmm. Are you supposed to lure them into the lamps? Or. Hmm. At the very least, we can get away from them. We need to find something to eat. Oh, that's one of the chefs. Vegetables. Oh. Uh, uh, Kilroy Speaky, say hey, Captain. <laughs> Hello there. How are you doing today? Sorry for not paying too much attention because, well, uh, Eldritch fuckery. But you spoke. It's anomaly is closed. Need to keep the furnace burning. So those things can be harmed. Hmm. I can't tell if they're floating or something else. Coffee beans. Uh, they are this. L levitating or floating. And we save as long as it's on the other side of the wall. Okay, so we need to be careful with uh, when we tell them to go sleep. Put some cabinets. Okay. Instant noodles. Okay. Uh, yeah. Cook up some stuff. Okay. Cut those up, please. No, oh, yeah. How, how are you doing, Kilroy? If I may ask. Uh, there. Okay. Good thing we found this right here. Deep freezer. Cut that up, please. Okay. Yeah, he needs to go sleep soon. Uh, let's see. Cooked vegetables, tasty and healthy. Yeah. Notice a weird smell coming from the food. Peering closer at your would-be meal, you see a thin layer of mold on them. Uh, yeah, mold is not good, so toss that. Yeah. The, the, ain't there only li very limited food to eat that actually is moldy, like uh, some kind of cheese? Yeah, they're, yeah they have blue, you know, you have blue cheese, for example, which is just a specific kind of mold on it. Yeah, that's probably one of the rare edible molds, but otherwise... Yeah, be careful about moldy food. Okay. 
Uh, and depending what food is moldy. Yeah. Some food you could just cut away the mold and eat and it'd be fine. But other food, if it has some mold, you should not eat it at all. You actually go back here. He is about to run out of stamina, so he is about to start getting hurt. It is pos it is there is a chance that it'll summon a new thing. Uh, there was no bed in this place, or no sofa or such. Uh, was there one here? If the, yes, there is one here. Okay, she's still working on that. Oh, the, the generator gave out here. Okay. That's not good, but that would mean they could probably enter Ooh. the building and... Um... That's not good either. How are you talking now as you're asleep? Okay. Oh, they're getting inside. They, are I they was actively going? That, that they will do that. Fuel that. Okay. I guess we'll get to see what happens when one of these things is caught inside. Yeah, that's hurting them quick. Why is this still showing hearts? Yeah, to show oh, that it's, it's taking health. My... Yeah, only now I see the minus. Okay, so that, that'll that drive them out. Oh, and it died from that. Okay. okay, that means they took damage every time they went past the lights outside. Yep. Now what? Oh, I think I know what we can do with that. Chemical suits. Okay. Uh, this the... Yeah, that needs to be put on instead of the jacket. Oh. Okay. Uh, what the heck is that? Or is that part of the helicopter? Uh, no, that is something alien, I'll simply call it. Okay. Okay, get over there. Okay, yeah, we can chase them off with our with our with our flashlights, as long as we don't get too close. That is. Normally, has come for me, but it looks like our world makes it sick. Okay. Oop. Drive that thing away. Okay, you put on the chemical suit. Get in here. Okay. Block pickets. Okay. Oop. Okay, they, they just implode like that. Okay. Uh, oh, that did not work. Okay, crowbar it, please. Okay. I, I like... Is he look... Okay, he's... <laughs> okay, I thought he was just moving around like... Ta -ta -ta -ta. We're still alive. Leave the man and move forward. No. I, uh, I pressed the wrong button. Oops. <laughs> well, <laughs> see you later, dude. Okay. Uh, wait. Yep, the timer already went off. I... Okay, I kind of got into this a bit too much then, but... This, again, it looks promising. Oh. Uh, really, just, the icon is poking it. Uh, let's do this, and then... Uh, it's cool, but no reason to freak out. Okay. And, yeah, that's just... I guess we might be able to find someone else to replace them, but... Uh, yeah. You have Save and quit. Nope. Or does it have an extra suit for the second one? Hmm. Yeah, how that yeah, could be sure supposed how... to stay them. Yeah, they probably could have run through and taken a he quite a bit of damage. But, yeah, I'm... Hmm. It is a bit 50-50 because this also has a lot of roguelite to it. So there's a lot... There's probably a, just a, a lot... It would 
if you were to stream this, a lot of it would probably be just repeating stuff, trying to get further and further into it. So, yeah, maybe as a YouTube series. Yeah, a bit disappointing, maybe. I find. Uh, this thing talk about doing YouTube series, we've never done it. Yeah, or at least not yet. Maybe if we lower our, the amount of stream days, we could do more of that, but... Yeah, we'd have to see how, th how we do things with well, Liz's work and such. Yeah, and then also there's one thing that we stream on Twitch, then we upload it to YouTube is very easy to do. Yeah. And doing a YouTube series will mean a lot of editing. Okay, apparently this game came out in 2017. Okay. Hmm. All right. And yeah, let's see. We've been streaming for you know, three hours, 20 minutes about. So, so we... Yeah, should we take a look at any more, or should we just call it here then? Uh, weren't you, you to be off somewhere? Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, probably best then still. Okay. Uh, before we end the stream, let me swap this to something a bit more pleasant <laughs> looking here. There. I, I said this. I, I want to be hmm. glad to do one more game, but considering he told me he would need to be off earlier. Yeah. Okay. Like it for the best. I'll look into getting uh, Rise of the Witch King to behave itself. But for now, let's look for someone to raid. And it's... Okay. Not too busy. Uh, let's see. Change the screen share so that Vakir can also see. Let's see. We have Pizza playing Call of Duty. Misa and Aleph are playing Fatal Frame 3. Cyrus here is playing Dark Souls. Travis the Moon Seal with... Oh, pardon? Where, where did that come from? <clears throat> World of Warcraft. New Gundam Gaming is playing Final Fantasy 16. All right. Uh, I kind of forgot that they released a 16. Give me a sec. Getting called. Yeah. Okay, nothing too important. Just parents saying they're already going for the <clears throat> they're going for the dinner at aunt and uncles. Uh, let's see, where was I? Yeah, new Gundam game with Final Fantasy sixteen. Uh, Kiri Natsuyoko is playing Dark Souls three. Uh, uh, Profound Badness is playing Iron Hive. Okay, they're doing Steam Fest games again. Uh, let me take a peek at that. Uh, Next, we have K9, who is playing Stalker Anomaly again, but we rated them last time. Puffle Cakey is playing Retro Games. Uh, happy Daddy Day. <laughs> and yeah, most of the others are outside of our typical maximum range of up to 100 viewers. But I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to come across as trying to just uh, yeah leech off of someone far, far more popular or something. Yeah. yeah let's see. I agree. Okay, this this Iron Hive seems to be like some sort of city builder, but with a card game in it as well, or deck builder. Um, let's see. Uh, I forgot to check if the place is muted, but it is. Let's see. Hmm. Any of these you'd suggest, or shall I take a pick? Uh, I'll let you take a pick. Says we are short on time. I'd say Misa and Aleph then. Fatal Frame is a pretty interesting series, even though it is pretty much dead, I believe. Okay. <clears throat> Copy the name. Yep, and <laughs> Lazarus shows up at the last minute. Sorry. Uh, let's see. I read for its stunning timing, didn't I? Oh, well. Hope you guys are doing well, regardless. Uh, yeah, we're we're doing good enough. Uh, how are you, Lash? <laughs> Good. Okay. Either way, slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who is watching now or later. Thank you, Lars. Thank you, Kilroy. And yeah, thank you, Sensei, as well. <clears throat> yeah, let's see, more or less alive is uh, the best that we can really ask for. Do we have any other lurkers around that I see? Oh, pizza is lurking. <laughs> Sorry for not raiding you. <laughs> uh, maybe next time. And yeah, as always, thank you, Dakir. 
You welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for watching. And yeah, things didn't really go as planned today with, well, the price of the Witch King not wanting to work. I'll, I will get to work on that. So hopefully I'll have that fixed by Tuesday. Uh, yeah, the Fan Launcher Discord server will probably have some solutions for that. And <clears throat> uh, yeah, we still got a, a good few games checked out here. And yeah, sad to that, sad that only one of them is a yes for streaming. Uh, Cassette Beast, that is. But the other three look like they can still be fun on their own. Yeah, no, Cassette Beast, is, Beast can still be a no. We just need to investigate how long it is. Looks like I can do that right now. Uh, da, da, da. I should do that on my computer, not on my phone, because that always takes slower. Or always goes slower. How long to beat? Okay. Stats. No results. Ah, there we go. Uh, 20 hours, doable. Well, completionist 54, but we, we, we are not completionists, so. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> so that uh, don't it, do mm -hmm. yeah, sorry, I was say that that does make the game a yes. Yeah. Uh, typically tomorrow we would do multiplayer, but we'll have to see how things go with Liz and such. So we'll likely have to move that to another day. And yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll hopefully have Bell of Middle Earth's Witch, the yeah, Rise of the Witch King, working by uh, Tuesday. And if not, then we'll have to get started on the next uh, screen on, on the next uh, schedule for stream games early, which will be well, <laughs> which will start at least with Steam will dig. Yay! Okay, but for now, let's get that raid started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, everyone. Sleep well and watch out for undead seagulls. And Dreamweaver demons. <laughs> <laughs>